The graphs that you see at the top, these are vitally important. We reference these all the time when we're looking at patients, how they're doing and what they're doing. Uh, really what these graphs capture is they capture the airflow that I was talking about. The airflow that's coming out of the console, back in, out and in. This is the airflow that we're capturing. So what we look for on these graphs is on the left side, this is a pressure graph. On the right side, you see a flow graph. So the left graph is used to assess that the device is fully ejecting, that the airflow that's going out, has, there's enough pressure there so that it pushes all of the blood out of the device to the body and to the lungs. And on that graph, you'll see a blue line and you'll see a red line. The blue line represents the right side of the device and the red line represents the left side of the device. On the, in red here, we see pressures up to 200, 250 on the left. And then in blue over here, we see pressures um, from negative 20 all the way up to 120. The blue is less than the left. And you might ask, why is that? Because the pressures that we need for the left side of the device to pump through the body is greater than the pressure that we need to pump through the lungs. And we'll also demonstrate that. So what you're seeing here on this pressure graph is what we look for is we look for this plateau that you see here. It's what we call an eject flag. And what that means is that the valve, as you trace this graph, the valve is opening. There's flow through the device, through the valve, and then right here at the end, you see the eject flag, which lets us know that we're getting that last bit of blood out and we're fully ejecting the device. So this is functioning properly right now. On the right side graph here, this is the flow. This is where we assess if, how it's filling. Is it partially filling or fully filling? What we look for here is we want to make sure that both left and right, red and blue lines here are horizontal to the x-axis all the way across. And as we see here, again, this is a good scenario. Um, left and right, red and blue are both horizontal all the way throughout. What we would see if the device was fully filling, these lines would do what we call a ski slope they would dip down to the x-axis and we'd, we would literally see a little hill or a ski slope as we call it. Um, and that would let us know that the device is fully filling.